Now, what are what are you seeing as possible solutions to this on the small business side, on the on the labor side? Well, there, there's a couple of things. First of all, we need to get people back to work that are able to work. Uh, we know that even in September, Statistics Canada released that there were a million job postings. We also know that in September, uh, towards the end of September, there were still approximately a million people that were on CRB. And, uh, you know, there's, there's, other, there's other programs as well. So it's really important that we get people back to work that are able to work. Uh, there's also some uh, changes that can happen in some of our immigration policies. Uh, for example, one very specific that I've written the minister on uh, that was brought forth to me by tourism organizations is to extend some of the worker visas that have just expired. It's a very simple fix. These are people that are here. They're ready and able to work. Um, so that's one of the solutions. But but you're absolutely right. It's it's across all sectors. I just had someone reach out to me from my riding in Kelowna Lake, <coughs> excuse me, Kelowna Lake Country that has a security company, and uh, they're they're not able to fulfill their contracts. They've actually had to pay a lot of uh, fees for breaking contracts with uh, with their clients and they're not able to take on new business so it's it's affecting them they're not able to grow and they're not even able to fulfill the existing uh, business that they've taken on yeah so so one question that kind of gets it's kind of kind of people saying tongue-in-cheek but has a spaceship come down and abducted all these people that used to be in the work- workforce <laughs> well, in fact um most of the jobs, in fact, almost all of the jobs lost uh, as a result of the pandemic have been filled again. Mm-hmm. But um, we're seeing, uh, you know, quite a bit of activity in our economy. It's, it's growing pretty rapidly. Uh, but, and, of course, the, what's, what's been missing, too, is our immigration numbers have been down dramatically over the course of the pandemic. Canada needs immigration to keep growing. Uh, otherwise, we just won't. And, and we're seeing the, some of the results of that now. Um, but that's that's one of the big issues. We need more people, and and you know when it comes to things like skilled trades, Tracy made some really great points mm-hmm. about uh, about things that we can and should be doing to help fill this gap and support local, small business and, and big business. Um, you know, but uh, you know, look at some of the areas like skilled trades, for mm-hmm. example. I'm spending a lot of time meeting with labor leaders, and and one of the things we're hearing from them is that is that you know the shortage in skilled trades. You can't just fill those jobs that's like right. that. They they have incredible training programs. Uh, and we need to get people into those programs. We need to we need to start now, uh, and we need to be supporting those programs. That's certainly one of the things as conservatives we campaigned on that, mm-hmm. investing heavily in those training programs to encourage young people to get into a skilled trade. It's it's one of the best careers you can have. It's uh, and it's it's not been pushed nearly enough, I don't think. And so some of these things are going to take a little longer to solve. Uh, but you know, one of the things too, I was going to say as well in, in in the province of Ontario specifically. Uh, Monty McNaughton, the Minister of Labor there, is making some really great moves to uh, recognize credentials of new Canadians uh, sooner mm-hmm. and faster so they can get into the workforce. You've, heard, you've all heard the crazy stories of doctors driving cabs in Toronto because their qualifications aren't recognized. So they're moving to make that recognition and, and, and those qualifications recognized here faster. All these kinds of things. We need, we need to pull every lever and push every button uh, and all be working together at all levels to solve this. It is a crisis and it's crippling business across the country.